What's up guys, welcome to another video. I hope all of you are having a lovely, peace and incredible day guys. This is day two and last day of my tournament of Pokemon, my brothers and sisters. Today we played four games, yesterday was six. Uh, if you have enjoyed part one, make sure to check it. Uh, the first round, my brothers and sisters, we start with, um, I guess, Ola. <laughs> uh, wonderful, wonderful person and a fantastic, fantastic chess player. Uh, she's a woman kind of master, guys. A lot, a little bit, because... The, uh, the opening is a little bit interesting, guys. Um, yeah, so uh, we are, I'm going to show the four games and then I'm going to show the final standings and that's it, my brothers and sisters. So the game started with uh, E4, C6. This is the second time in my life I play Karo Khan uh, with the hope somebody will find an alien gun with me, guys. I mean, over the board, second time over the board, my brothers and sisters. First time was uh, against actually her boyfriend. <laughs> um, so they go, she goes D4, now D5, okay? Oh, everything is good. She goes point C3. Take, take, and now pony f6, my friends. Hmm, interesting waters, no? I wonder my, what might happen. What is she gonna play the boring, boring point g3? Actually, that's one. That's one of the reasons I invent marching gun because I always play here and I got destroyed. So that's why I decided to go chaos. Or guys, you can pause the video and decide will she play the boring point g3 or point g5? The romantic, the aesthetics. Ooh, that's good. You want some? There you go. And here, my brothers and sisters, for my surprise, she went Pony G5! Alien Gambi! It's the official Alien Gambi, my brothers and sisters, because Alien Gambi is a book move. Uh, trying to play Pony F7. Now, what did I play here? I'm shocked here, actually, when she played this one, like 30 seconds. 8 6 kick the Pony, my brothers and sisters, and what? I think she has to go back. As to oh, literally, literally the only thing. And ladies and gentlemen, the first time ever over the board, I got Alien Gambi that only takes F7. Stop it, Pepe. Danny don't understand. Angels don't understand. What the fuck is this blunder, bro? I can't stand it. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. It means six move. This got Alien Gambit, bro. Since I'm the inventor of Alien Gambit, I'm also the inventor of a Martian Gambit. So now I took. And now she plays Pony H3. I'm full Pony up, my brother and sisters. Uh, she, only, she only has one pawn, but they have. The king is weak. Um... Uh, the E5 square is critical. Um, the A to G dragon super duper weak. The H5 E dragon super duper weak. And she knows the plan. She loves Alien Gambit. She told me that she won against I am in Tower Tuesday with Alien Gambit. She's master in Alien Gambit. She really loves the Gambit actually. She truly, truly loves it. Now I go Bishop G4. Um, Bishop G4. <laughs> I brandered him. I said, wow, the guy who invented Alien Gambit brandered. Yeah, guys, I brandered actually on purpose because uh, I'm not gonna lie. I can beat like everyone with the uh, black pieces because I know how to beat the gambit. If you want to run something, teach it. I'm teaching the alien gambit with white pieces, but I have some notification. Like almost every single day before I invent marching gambit, every single day I made alien gambit arenas. Now we're making only marching gambit arenas. Uh, and do it because book move. And I know the best moves, I know the best reputation, and of course the best reputation here is C5. You might say, even Hikaru was shocked when he found why C5 was the best move. It's because that your king is not that da in danger. You centralize the, you attack the center, and you are freeing the pony on C6. That's why it's good. Because uh, everybody, if they're not in home prep, they play the pony on D7, but it blocks this guy, and those guys are sleeping. For example, I'm, I'm going to show you a very uh, quick line to protect this guy. Go Bishop D3 here. Um, castle. Bishop D6. Rookie 1. Here. Pony 5. Check, check. Here. Queen H3, those guys are playing each other. And now Queen H5 check here. Now brilliant! Stop this guy from bringing Bridge G6. Brilliant! Stop this guy from bringing Bridge G6. Now here over Rookie 4. That's it. So that's why C5 is the best move, my brothers and sisters. Um but I brought it here because it's just not fair. She she she's so, she's so kind, she finally allowed me to get an alien gun with before GTA 6 in the in the other board. And it's gonna be so unfair to me if I beat her. Uh, because I'm just ancient guy, so uh, she's so brave, and I really admire that. And I'm gonna shock you what I'm gonna say, but this is actually the most common move in the ladder. According to chat.com database, Bishop G4 is the most common move. You might say, What the fuck? Stop lying to me. Unsub, fuck, book, never talk to you again. Don't lose heart, brother and sister. When I was about to get the king on f7 and the pony on f3, and right square bishop, pony f3, dick for king. She's pretty good, dick me with no shame, and now black's completely lost. It's pretty straight for white. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna be just pound down in terrible pound structure. Breaking J, which is a ter terrible move. Um, not because of engine wise, but because I should have tried this trick. And Owe was about to do all gambit and think about go bishop c4. That was about to be <laughs> because if I take the queen, she would have calculated this. I have done that many times too, but it's queen a5 here. And queen takes if I sacrifice the queen with no shame whatsoever. This guy, this guy, that's all she wrote. Let's come to winning. Let's just piece up. Um, but of course, uh, she she always thinks of what she would have never played this move. Uh, maybe. Uh, so I, I played here, and then she took the 
the, the, the pony and everything. Queen d5, trying to take some light squares. And she goes pawn e3. I'm spending so much time. Like, you know what? I, I'm officially like a fan of Ola Gambit. Like, if I'm playing, like, streaming guys with you in Twitch, um, and I, I spend a lot of time, I'm, I'm gonna say, wow, I'm doing Ola Gambit. <laughs> okay, I'm spending quite a lot of time on this game. And I'll go Queen f7, trying to play light squares. She goes bish, 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 c4. And the queen just a pound down, a terrible pound structure, bringing pitch pieces very lost. She goes castles, I go point bd7, she goes queen f3. Um, not the best move, why? Because that, that allows point d5, and now I change queen's favor to black, because my king is super duper weak. Uh, but yeah, for everything is winning. Oh, actually, I didn't see f4. Now she'll change queens because she's learning the wrong time. Now, of course, I fix my pound structure. And now, if we get this position, my brother says, I'm a pound down, but I know I'm gonna have a weak backwards pound. Uh, my king is safe because there's no queens on the board. And the most important drive could be lost because I'm just pound down and she has the bishop pair. <laughs> but she's lingering on time because she's doing the over gambit. So she did a link and over gambit. I go bishop d6. She go bishop d2. I go here, here. I'm, I'm just trying to fire her. Um, but she's, she's just playing very accurate here. She's just exchanging pieces. I'm just completely lost. I have to exchange. If I go something like here, she goes bishop f5. I have to exchange. I'm just, I'm just surviving, man. And now she, she plays this. Why is it move here? And she fuck out under Sanchez. King f7. Which be a fantastic move. B6. You don't want to take to fix the pound structure. But still, everything everything white does is just they're winning because um now we get this position, this is a critical moment. Um this is a critical moment. Because I'm a pound down. And you might say, okay, if I manage to sacrifice my pony for the last pound, it's a draw. But the problem is that the game is on two flanks, um, and the bishop is just a monster. If the game was on one flank, the pony might have survived, but now it's like this king d4, I'm winning, losing. Just take and just take. Uh, she's going to use those, uh, make, make a pass pawn, deflect my king, and she's just gonna stop those guys. But she unfortunately, she, she, she blundered here. She, she, took, she took this guy, but she completely forgot that this is check. And she actually, I think she played b5, a3 here, and she forgot this is check. That's why she took, um, because she, she only saw this because she's learning very long time. So she had to play king d2 here, and I took this guy now back in the game, I took this guy, take yeah, king d5. But this final endgame is actually a draw. I'm shocked by the engine. I thought I was winning. Uh, I really thought I was winning. She did the right move, g4. My plan is that I'm going to flag the king, and I'm just going to swap those guys. f5 is draw. How? Oh man, under Sanchez. F6 is the only move to win. Oh man. Yeah, she's actually just in time to sacrifice. And... Oh, I'm so bad at this beautiful game. So that was a very bad move. I should have tried to fuck her with the pony. Mm. Now that's that's a blunder. She should have gone F5 with the same plan. But she's doing so long time because she did over gambit. Now I'm completely winning. B5 is fantastic when controlling this critical square. And now the king is just too slow. You see that there's, there's a very important tempo. No. I don't take here. I go a5. Wow. Now I take. Now I take. And I go b4. And she takes and I take. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, and now I end up winning the game. Yeah, actually a very interesting game. Uh, she played the lane gambit. She was completely winning, but she started losing on time and she won the game. But thank you all for playing the lane gambit. The next game, my brothers and sisters, we have... Um, we are against uh, Jaskova. Um, this guy... Fantastic chess player, I uh, have huge admiration of him, and he's a fantastic content creator, a wonderful YouTuber and Twitch streamer. So if I win this game, and um, I, I win the rest of the games, and he wins the rest of the games, we're gonna have both 9 out of 9 points. So I have to win this game, I must win situation, if I want to play for the first place. I go e4, d5, take, Scandinavian, I was actually surprised here that he played Scandinavian. I mean, uh, I'm not shocked because sometimes he plays, but usually he plays that time on Sicilian. So I just took, now they play pawn f6, trying to recapture this guy, but now I go check uh, here and I go c4. Why did I give the check first? Because if I go c4 right away, there's just c6. And there's no way you can hold this guy, but after here, here, now you can go here, there's no c6, right? Um, now he go a6, I go here and he go b5, temporary pound sacrifice. Um, because if I take, 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 he cannot take because I go to c6, but um, after take, uh, he took the pawn actually. Uh, and now, position is almost equal actually, because even though I'm pawn up, but if I take, my position is terrible. I have terrible light square weaknesses, point is going on a4, it's completely lost actually. Um, 
So I have to play like point f3, just to vary my pieces. Now he plays point c5, and I would when I went bishop c2. This was not actually a bad move, take take. And then yeah, actually it was a bad move. I did the right move, I got bishop c2, keeping the right square bishop. Now he took on b5. Now I got castle. Uh d4 was better for some reason. Um, then I got point c3. Yeah, but okay, it's not that bad. I just got castle, now bishop b7. Um Eco material, black looks very active, but I have lean development. Uh, black needs a lot of moves to castle, so I have to use this. So I strike back with point c3. They take. I just go take with this deep pound take, take. And even though queens have changed, black likes development. And I have uh, three against two. So practically speaking, white is better. Much better, actually. So he did the right thing not to take on c3. Uh, he played b4. Actually, I, I didn't see this move at all, but now I have a queen at point if I, I'm very proud of this move. With all the respect, engines don't understand because. Uh, you take take, I just take. Now this guy's close, and uh, I can go d4, rookie one, pen position. Uh, point d7, and engine says secret position, I have no idea why. Uh, yeah, because Blake has no problems actually. Wow. But he decided to go point e6, which is very bad move with all due respect. Uh, um, because this guy sits on this guy. And the only way to develop the king side is go g6 in here. But this is too slow because what happened in the game. Prove that he rookie one fantastic move don't even actually keep advantage queen d6 saying this guy if they go g6 what is the move here rook takes c6 sacrifice the rookie stop it that was my plan actually like marching gun sacrifice type and i go g4 this is seven and i go point c5 and i'm completely winning position speaking queen c8 to protect everything no point g5 castle point e6 rook f6 so queen e2 down the chain no, nobody gives a fuck with all the respect they cannot survive Completely lost. Look at those guys. That was my idea. And he said after the game that he saw that. That's why he played queen d6 to play this guy. But then I played fantastic move queen d4. Completely my development. Now he goes g6. Now this is a critical moment, my brothers and sisters. You can pause the video and think what would you do if you were white pieces here? <laughs> and here without giving much thought, actually. Actually, I had, I had so much good moves here. I had like point g5. I never calculated this. Point g5. I calculated. But I chose the most romantic and aesthetic move. Rock takes a six brilliant, stop it, baby. And just don't understand. And even though it's like a single power, better for white a little bit. Nah, uh, for me it's a brilliant because uh, when you have lean development, you have to sacrifice. If you give your opponent time to consolidate, GG, go home. So it's imperative to sacrifice the rookie. If you take with the pawn, you go point c5, you're completely winning. Queen b6, then go point c5. You, you should go home with all your respect. So he, he, he smartly took with the queen. Now pawn c5, fantastic move attacking those guys. Now queen c6 is just losing pawn e5. So he has to go queen b6, the only move, or queen c8. He's defending like a lion, by the way. I'm very impressed by him. Now pawn e5. Uh, engine says like it's one of the top three engine moves. It's not a mistake, it's but But a4 from apparently was a move. No idea what, why that's good. Oh yeah, I'm so bad at this angelic game. <gasps> but if I play a4, I'm Gramnik. I'm interesting. No, you don't play a4, you don't want to get disqualified for the tournament. You just... Wow, so... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Just such a beautiful move. Oh man. This is so beautiful. That's why I'm ne never going to be a good player. <gasps> That's too beautiful. Oh man. This is too good. And the only move for black is sacrifice the queen here. A4, man. If I play, if I'm getting disqualified for tournament. I play pony 5. I, th I thought that was the most natural move, of course. Now bishop g7. Fantastic move. Now. I get checking here and I, I'm shocked here I'm not winning. I spent so much time here. Look. Because it's here, here. Here, here. Here, here. It's, it's not like I played. It's nothing is working, unfortunately. Even though it's better, but nobody gives a fuck. I missed this move, by the way. That's why I didn't play this. And here I spent so much time angry on myself that I'm not winning. I made a mistake. Queen c7. Rex actually winning. Wow. I blundered here. I was so angry at myself, he had no idea how much pain I felt. But I played such a good game. I still I was so confident. He should have taken. Yeah, this is very playable for white. Don't mind the engine. No, uh, this is very playable for white to score rook c1. Yeah, it's playable. And I, I just forgot that uh, after queen g4, he can actually take, take, and the king's protecting the end. Yeah. And he said he didn't see that too, but they, the more the more he calculated, the more he saw it. I go rook c1, yeah. That's why I, I just blundered. You see, guys? <sighs> I suck. I love chess, but... Bats are mistakes. Yeah, sad. But the, blunder, the real blunder was this move, actually. 
Huh? Out of your blender. Nee, nou is het een beetje luzie. Je defend like a lion, we bot time scramble, but he defend like a lion, bro. I try my best to save the game, but we we bot blitzing this out, but yeah. He's a, he's a bit stuck here. And the money in the game, we should accept too. I just want to say a huge out to Jasko, we didn't room at 10 out of 10. Uh, very impressive. But most important that he's a very, ni very nice person. Uh, very, very nice person. That was the most amazing fact about him. Alright guys, let's go for the next game. Next game I play with uh, uh, Xentaction, a wonderful person, absolutely fantastic. I'm a huge fan and thanks to him I'm in Poland because I'm sure that he recommended me. Sorry, E4 my best method. E5, Danish Gambit my brother and sisters without, without uh, any shame. Take C3, D5 boring. I go E5, turn will move, but practice speaking is amazing. Of course you have stake, I'm reporting chase, you have stake, but you, I like E5, like you took, I go B3, again sacrificing a pound. My brother and sisters, move 5, I'm minus 2. I'm out of chess. It's move 5, I'm already completely losing. Why? Because and that's what happens in the game. Like, I got points. I have a lot of my positions here. Like, fantastic bishop. That's why, guys, don't lose. Don't mind the engine. Chess is a practical game. Look what happens. Chess is a practical game. It's not played by engines. See if take that terrible move, actually. I was so shocked when he took that. Because now I get the two bishops. And his dash quest permanent weaknesses. He goes point in 7, I go point f3. He goes point in 7, I go h4. Fantastic move. Why is much better? Uh, she's, she's, she's gonna go c5. After castle, c4. Then I go e6. Then I win the game. So he has to like take. Then I go bishop 1 then rook 1 it's, it's a mess. Yeah. Uh, but he goes here and I go h4. And I'm already much, much better. He goes bishop 4 and I'm gonna say h5. h6 completely winning. So run for it. That's, that's how you play chess. Chess is easy. Just run with force. Point six, just take. Just complete winning position. Uh, oh. Brute destruction. Take, take. And now, tada, take, check, and terrible move, because I'm a terrible player. I completely miss Queen G5. I'm still winning, of course, take, take. But it's so boring. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be completely honest. The whole game I was thinking about brilliant. The whole game I was thinking about brilliant. Like, how can I brilliant? Like, I was really thinking about brilliant. I want to win spectacularly. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I was just looking for brilliant. I didn't want to play boring moves. I saw this move, but I didn't like it. I got Queen D6, and I missed Queen E7, actually. But I saw this, this can be I was about to play it, but I said, why should I play it? I have big castle brilliant. Hey, guys, I have done my chess. Oh my god, I found my talent. It's to mess up completely winning positions. I was confident it was a brilliant. <laughs> it's actually a brilliant. What the fuck? I was so proud of this move. I saw this move, of course. I was 100%. I, I saw it. It's a boring win. He can never develop. I, I literally saw this, even my word. Like, I promise, I saw this, but I just wanted to find the brilliant over the board, like, cuckoo. Because, because I was already second place, and I, I could never be first, but still. But he started playing so well, point g6, the move I completely missed. I saw this, and I saw this, that's what, the only move I saw. But he's super duper strong, and he found this move that I didn't see. And I suddenly I found that I'm losing here. Now, uh, queen c7 is completely winning, because queen c7, I have everything hanging. Wow, my brother, you did fantastic play, I'm very proud of you. Queen c6, brilliant, oh, terrible move. Rook D is a move. Oh my god, I actually saw this. Oh my gosh, that's, I'm so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh my gosh. I know that. Oh man. Yeah, Rook D was almost to win the game. Uh, so I missed this. And now I completely. I'm shocked. Like, I spent like one minute here. I had to do this. Yeah, I, I want to go actually this. Yeah, I want to go, but I saw like. Uh, yes, I saw something, but it wasn't working, yeah. So I had to take it, I'm down, exchange, and he converted. I had one more trick here. But he saw it, man. Like here, if he took the bishop, I can play here. But still, I'm still losing. That's it, because he takes it with rookie. Yeah. If he can't take it, it's stalemate. That's the problem. But he's still winning. He just runs here. Like in 6 And he cannot take. Yeah. He takes with the rookie. If you go here. Uh... No, you have to go here. Yeah, and you go here. What the fuck? Yeah, the king is hiding, it's boring. No. What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Ah, okay, you just take, okay. Yeah, you just take, that's it. You win the game. 
Yeah, and he went and checked me. me, me. Graduation, she, 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 she defended like a lion. I, I, I was 10 plus position. That's my talent, my brothers and sisters. I was 10 plus, but I was. <laughs> but he defended very well. But the stun is, there was no matter because that was 100% second place and he was already. Uh, uh, just goes already in first place. Now, the last game on Third Remembrance was against Graf, a wonderful creator, and inside E4. The first time in my life I played E5. I just wanted to switch some openings. Uh, this is literally the first time in my life over the world I played E5. He plays here, I play here. You should see fine. Like Evans gonna be stopping the bed. I did sacrifice a pump and boot center. Now, I, I was sure that this was actually a book move E4. I go point A6. Uh, uh, castle, castle. You, you never take because then you well, have super strong center. Try to keep the tension on the center. And that's why you, you play bishop d6 so you can protect this guy. Now castle, castle. Now d5, a point a5. Why is this terrible move? Because uh, this is the argument super duper weak. And Black has sim simple counter play. This is why he's winning. <laughs> and they're pound down. You need to keep the tension in the center and develop your pieces. But that, that was a terrible positional move. Now I just I missed this one, but it's okay. Now this bishop is a monster. Point f4, d3. Now bishop h3, fantastic move. If they take it, just go queen g6 here and checkmate. But they go g3 and go. G5, sacrificing another piece, let Brilliant take take. I just love the initiative, man. Uh, I'm plus one here. Because I always take on F2. Uh, but he didn't take, he played King H1, I just check, and I play here. I, I thought I was Brilliant, I was farming Brilliant. Man, I don't know, I'm cuckoo. I was really farming Brilliant over the board, like... I was really farming Brilliant, that's why I repeated. So if he plays like here, you know, he played here and King H8, that was my idea. Um, Yeah, I just blundered, but I don't care. Yeah, you'll sacrifice on you. But I was just really fucking brilliant. I'm, I'm just like... Now I just took an F2 and I was winning. But he's great. He played very well, actually. Yeah, Queen H1 was interesting. Let's go to 7 though. He goes here, and now here, and now here, and a terrible move. You can power the view and find how White could have won the game. Yes. Oh, it makes a 7 sacrifice. The point is, what the fuck is this move? I just take this guy. Take this guy. Ta-da! Uh, that's it. I'm pretty well. Best move to design. You might say, why I didn't take the rookie? Because I like the initiative. I think the, the threat is stronger than execution. So h6, but I want to win with brilliance. Yeah, he missed that. And then I sacrifice the rookie. Sacrifice the rookie again. I was about to play queen h4 here, but that's queen one. I'm just losing. So I have to take this guy. Yeah, I saw this a draw, but I don't take a draw. My idea is that after here I go queen h4, but I queen one, I resign. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> But still, this game was useless with standings. I just took. Like, and then, why is the brilliant move? <laughs> 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 the best sacrifice in the game for GPS 6. And that's it, guys. We won the game. <sighs> so that's, that was the standing member. And since we played 10 rounds, just go one down. 10. Wow, just she <laughs> you adopted us, man. <laughs> like, he, he, never, he never had a losing position. He's just so strong. He deserves fine. I became second with three losses and seven wins. Uh, he uh, sent action become uh, third. Uh, Owl become fifth, and Slay um, becomes uh, fifth, and Graf becomes uh, what? Without due respect, but he played very interesting chess. Uh, that was it. Uh, that was such a, such a wonderful tournament. I had so much fun playing. Um, people were so nice. A uh, huge out to David for organizing that. Uh, that was like the best over the board tournament I have played in my life, actually, because um, they gave free medals to people, actually. That was so amazing. Everything was made so perfect. There was interviews. There was like chess kit there for the kids. There was like um, everything. Like it was just made with love. It was made with uh, future of chess. Um, yeah, and you want to see what we the alien won, my brother and sister? Let's show you. I won this. <laughs> the most brilliant, uh, the most brilliant move in the All Stars event was me. <laughs> yeah, that was the most brilliant. It's beautiful queen. I made the best, stop it, the bear. And yeah, how's it? Um, so yeah, and uh, that was actually and the, the most the most amazing thing was that this was actually given me by a dear friend, um, Carolina. She actually did that, uh, and she gave me a, a cup made by herself, which is like the best thing ever. I was like really sweet. I didn't expect that. And you know what? What what, what it says here. You see, uh, I was just gonna write it first. Right, I read, um, the darker the night, the brighter the stars, the deeper the grief, the closer it's gone. That's actually my phrase. <laughs> I don't know if I can show it, but it's like that. It works like that. Da, 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 da. That just made my day, man. I was like, the sweetest thing in the tournament. Yeah, and there is an alien here. <laughs> and yeah, and there was like, 
brilliant because I said so. Yeah, I was like really stinger. I'm gonna when I stream, it's, it's gonna be on my desk. That's it, guys. That was day two of Poland recap. I had so much fun, uh, and uh, more just to come. I'm going back tomorrow, and I'm gonna stream on Tuesday on Twitch. Play brilliant spam, the brilliant mode, and such, guys. <laughs> Hope all of you are having a lovely, peaceful, incredible weekend. Don't forget to wash your hands, spread peace, love, happiness, and most importantly, pray for peace in the middle of the whole world, guys. You're absolutely fantastic. See you some other time. Bye bye. Bye bye, my brothers and sisters.